Hey guys, it's Lena, and today I'm testing a new format of video without me in the frame. So some of my subscribers asked me to show my clothes in more, uh, in a more detailed way. So today I will be uh, doing a close-up of my December capsule wardrobe. If you're interested, stay tuned. So let's start with the star of the show, my beautiful, wonderful big, um, almost um, uh, like until to the boots length uh, of this huge winter um, coat. And I really, really love it because um, it is, although it is uh, very thin, it is it is warm it was comfortable to wear um, t up until minus 10 degrees Celsius and after then because in December it was quite chilly I think so, uh, at some point we had like minus 20 so I also used this uh, fleece cardigan and on its own I don't really like it because it is um, it doesn't suit me very well. It looks like I'm um, uh, like cosplaying a, a Hobbit movie or something. But uh, being um, in a layer uh, for this uh, coat, it works really fine. It gives me warmth, but unfortunately, because it's not really comfortable if you go outside, say, to a coffee shop. It's not comfortable to take this one off, then to take this one off. I only wear it when I have to walk my dog or when I have to go to the supermarket. Um, and other times I just make do with other things in my closet that give me warmth for this uh, chilly winter. And in December it was quite strange because at one point we had plus four degrees celsius and um, then maybe like a few days later it was minus 21 so crazy weather and uh, but i was able to keep my capsule wardrobe relatively small and if you are full if you have been following my channel you probably know that i never ever compile any uh, pre-assembled capsule wardrobe for the season. I just um, use my clothes and I just observe how I use it and uh, try to understand what works for me and what not. And of course I don't really like uh, to wear something only once during the season because I don't I don't like to have a lot of laundry uh, at any point. <laughs> I just don't like a lot of maintenance. <laughs> Anyways, I'm lazy. So let's talk about other clothes. And I piled it all like that so you can see it properly. So the first piece is this fleece jacket. It's sports fleece jacket. And unfortunately, you are not a uh, camera doesn't show the real color. So in real life, it's very vivid turquoise blue. And uh, yeah, I really like it. It's it's fitted, it's very comfortable, um, It's it, because it's fitted, it is warm. I like this detail, these zipped pockets. And uh, before that, so I've been owning this exact jacket for maybe for the, for the last four years or so. And I like fleece because it's very, very low maintenance, really, it doesn't peel off. Uh, that fast and it doesn't really show and anyways it's a, it's a really good investment uh, and um, before that I was wearing it with other winter jackets and winter coats and I didn't really need um, a hood but now I understand that I would have preferred something with a hood because um, the hood of my coat, unfortunately, the coat is very nice, very warm, but the hood is very thin and I have to wear hats or scarf on my head and I don't really like all the hustle about it, so yeah, but anyways, uh, it is very, very good one. 
So yeah, here we have one of my favorite uh, sweaters, but unfortunately, as you can see on camera, it is extremely peeled and has a lot of dog fur on it. It's like a magnet for the fur and for the fluff and for if uh, by any chance you wear it with a uh, uh, for example, dawn coat, it, it is, it is, it's not a good idea. So, for example, I have an uh, autumn dawn jacket and it's, it always shows, always shows. And although uh, the color is very nice, it really suits me very well. But unfortunately, because of the peels, because of the quality, overall quality, I think uh, in the near future I will be decluttering it, or at least now I am mm, downgrading it to just maybe uh, walk the dog mm, sweater or like supermarket sweater, wearing it where I don't have to take my coat off because it just doesn't look <laughs> any good. <laughs> it doesn't look uh, even in the least presentable, <laughs> unfortunately. But it's very thin and it's very warm. It's like, it was magical, but now it's not. And here we have um, an oversized um, sweater, sweatshirt. And um, my problem with it that uh, this uh, texture, first of all, and this is <laughs> the most painful for me, uh, because of the texture of the threads, it has these loops all over it. And maybe if you uh, have been following my channel, you already know as well that I was about to declutter it at some point, but now I'm giving it uh, its second, third, and maybe fourth chance. Uh, so I'm trying to make do with it because I realized that I only wear, I only like to wear oversized tops during winter because during other seasons, uh, when I wear more fitted jackets, uh, it looks it doesn't look very well and in summer when I just want some kind of a cardigan it also doesn't really work because it doesn't give me any warmth unfortunately because it's 100% polyester and I bought it only because I really like the texture and the color and I thought these loops I, I would be able just to tuck them inside but unfortunately they keep reappearing <laughs> And I look like a loop hedgehog and I don't really like this. But um, also I receive a lot of compliments wearing this one, so I don't really know. <laughs> For now it stays, maybe I will declutter it uh, in the end, like uh, at the end of maybe April, so I don't know. And another sweater, this is uh, my recent purchase that I really love, is this one. And uh, this is 70% wool, I really love it. It is uh, <laughs> stretchy, although it is incredibly thin. Um, but it is warm, it is very fitted, and because it's fitted, it is warm. It really snugs me very well and very comfortably. And uh, yeah, I like it. And the brand is Anthony Murata. Uh, as it said on the label, it is a brand of menswear. But uh, and this particular one is actually for boys. It says here it's size 10. Maybe it's for a 10 year older. <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe, but it's, uh, I'm extra small and small uh, size, so this one fitted me well because it is very, very stretchy. And when I found it on the rack, it was even smaller, maybe this long and with a smaller, like overall smaller. And after I washed it very carefully in cold wa water and stretched it out a little bit, and I have been wearing it like for quite a while, maybe I've worn it already four or five times. So now it's like my size, it's a little bit too short for me. 
so I have to tuck it uh, in my jeans because otherwise I get uh, it goes up during the day and I get this <laughs> um, like my belly is shining <laughs> And it's rather cold for these kind of cropped sweaters now, but it's very comfortable. It's comfortable during cold weather and during uh, warm weather as well. So I don't need, I don't feel that I have to take it off when I, for example, go to the coffee shop and it's very warm inside. And unfortunately, in Russia, it is a habit of some kind that um, in all of the shopping malls. Um, restaurants, coffee shops. It's very, very warm. During winter it's like plus uh, 24, 25 degrees. So if you're wearing a lot of clothes, it's, you should be layering because it's usually very uncomfortable staying like in the same very hot, bulky sweater. Yeah, and so talking about bulky and hot. This one I bought it uh, in summer and I thought that would be a great addition to my wardrobe and it said that it was 70% wool unfortunately I think it's maybe 100% acrylic fiber because it is very uncomfortable when it when it gets warm so I get very very hot like wearing maybe a plastic on my uh, on my body and I really want to take it off so the only good thing about it is these uh, buttons because I can just unbutton it and maybe stay wearing a t-shirt uh, or a top underneath because uh, when I'm inside in a coffee shop it's very uncomfortable just uh, keeping wearing it and also I understood that um, because I don't have a very very wide hips um it's this um shape this oversized top shape doesn't really suit me very well and um so that's why i'm, I'm I don't know because this thing is relatively new and I'm not in the habit of decluttering new things but it wasn't that expensive maybe I will give it another chance but um I'm I'm afraid that maybe I will be only wearing it during winter and I don't like these kind of clothes that are very strictly seasonal well of course uh, if we are not talking about winter boots or winter coats uh, these kind of uh, sweaters and um, tops I would would have preferred wearing the whole year round yeah unfortunately this is not the case so Next is my ordinary black sports top. It's a viscose and in this case it's a very thick viscose. I was looking for a thinner viscose uh, for my sportswear uh, but this one it wrinkles I think even faster than uh, it, it, is, uh, it gets ironed. I don't like it about this kind of wear because I usually keep it rolled up and it's not comfortable for me to iron it every time I want to go to the gym, unfortunately. So I am looking still for another top, maybe a bit sheerer and lighter that maybe um, that is stretchier and more fitted than this one. Uh, because yeah it's too much maintenance for me <laughs> right now and talking about tops this is another one I was wearing as a, la a layer closer to my skin under my oversized uh, sweaters and this one is also viscose it's very soft very nice and sheer and if it had <laughs> sleeves <laughs> I would have worn it to for my sports, but unfortunately, uh, I don't like my uh, sports bra to show, and my sports bra has very very wide straps, and it's pink also. <laughs> so, yeah, unfortunately, this one uh, doesn't really work for this purpose. So, talking about trousers and jeans, uh, in December I only 
wore two trousers the first one is this uh it is something like rayon trouser and uh, these trousers are very very lightweight very light comfortable and i wore them inside for a party and uh, because i needed something stretchy something i can I, i'm able to dance in uh, but i don't really like this anchor pattern i don't know why the manufacturer placed it so strangely because if from the far it looks like i have some kind of stains on my on my trousers but i still keep them because they are very lightweight I, sometimes i take them for my journeys because they weigh they weigh almost the same as a pair of leggings but they can be styled easier way easier than just leggings and another pair of my favorites is these Levi jeans. I really love them. They are perfect, very low maintenance, like nothing at all maintenance, I think. Uh, great high rise. So I really love high, love high rise jeans. Yeah, nothing to say about them. They are wonderful. And these are my sports leggings, um, also nothing very special about them, I was looking for some pair of sports leggings with high rise, high waisted, and as a bonus they have these pockets. And I, al al I already tried this, uh, those pockets with my smartphone and it fitted quite well, uh, I jumped. <laughs> with my smartphone in the pocket and it was totally fine so i do recommend if you find this style of pockets on your leggings i do recommend buying leggings with pockets because well i love pockets and uh, like this one you already know because i've showed it a lot already this is my wool easy maintenance cardigan and i wear it only at home because it doesn't have any zipper any buttons and nothing and it's um the style is a bit off a bit a bit outdated but it's very comfortable it's very soft it's very light lightweight and i love the color so it's ideal for wearing at home and talking about shoes so these pre-owned pairs these are my sports sneakers not so sneakers trainers i really love them because it's only a mesh so i don't get really hot in them these are my usual like a warmer season shoes but now i i wore them a couple of times for inside parties i really like them and these ones are my only winter shoes for december i thought i i really i would have needed maybe an extra pair like my boots my winter boots but i was able uh, to get by with only this pair and i also wore uh, on a few occasions when it was quite chilly with a lot of snow i also wore them with leg warmers and i do recommend if you like me don't really like high boots uh, buy yourself a pair of leg warmers maybe black ones so basic ones and uh, it's perfect i wore them to cover this part of my shoe so it doesn't get any snow inside and it was totally perfect and comfortable <laughs> and very nice so yeah that's all and i counted all for you this is not so huge pile of clothes and it's only 18 items 18 principal items of clothes and in addition a bag uh, a couple of gloves a scarf and a hat 
So uh, please let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this format without me in the frame. Do you like it? Do you mind uh, the wobbling of the camera? <laughs> Unfortunately, my hands are shaking a bit sometimes. So yeah, and what do you think about the quality, overall quality of the video and audio? Do let me know in the comments if you like this video. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.